नमस्कार फर्स्ट इंडिया न्यूज में आपका स्वागत है और मैं हूं आयुषी विजय आपके साथ तो चलिए बुलेटिन की शुरुआत करते हैं और आपको बता दें कि राजस्थान में निवेश को लेकर बड़ी पहल की गई है दुबई एक्सपो में राजस्थान का मेगा शो सीधी तस्वीरें आपको दुबई से दिखा रहे हैं राजस्थान एज अम हॉस्पिटेबल टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन ये देर इज मच मोर टू राजस्थान आई एम श्योर सिंस आवर अदर सीनियर ministers and officers will throw some light on the investment portion i take this opportunity to say few words what our visionary chief minister shri ashok gehlot how he is leading the state on a path of socio and economic development with a well thought out reform process and a fresh and invigorating policy environment thereby creating more prosperity and happiness for the people our mission is to improve rajasthan standing on the global map and move towards development and prosperity for this the government is working on several areas first and foremost the social justice is very important key aspect to ensure this the government is focusing on improving the state of education we have taken measures to open english medium schools in 33 districts of rajasthan i am happy to share that rajasthan is now number 2 in terms of quality education from the earlier rank of 13 the state of rajasthan has the highest number of general universities in the country with a total of 50 universities according to a recent deloitte cii report on annual status of higher education in india our cm has also introduced the rajiv gandhi merit scholarship for academic excellence which uh, which will now bear the expense of uh, more than 200 around 200 students who will be helped to pursue higher education in selected 50 countries of the world a key focus of our initiative is women empowerment our chief minister has launched a separate fund of rupees 1000 crore for women that is indira mahila shakti nidhi which will be used to empower women through various schemes of the state government नाउ कैन यू इमेजिन के अगर एक स्कूल में 500 सौ लड़कियां क्लास इलेवन तो क्लास ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ रही हैं तो वो स्कूल अपने आप अपग्रेड हो जाएगा सो दिस विल पेव द वे ऑफ हाउ द कमिंग जनरेशन विल ऑल्सो बी बेनिफिटेड बिकॉज ओनली एन एजुकेटेड वुमेन कैन मोटिवेट द एंटायर हाउस होल्ड एंड फॉर दिस वी हैव अनाउंस दिस स्पेशल प्रोविजन businesses we know thrive in healthy societies rajasthan has taken unprecedented measures to keep the state healthy and nirogi the state government has set an example across the country by managing the covid situation well during the first and the second wave of the pandemic rajasthan is among the top states in terms of vaccination delivered more than 70% of the population has taken the first dose of vaccine and more than 1 lakh people in rajasthan have so far taken benefit of the state government's ambitious chiranjeevi health insurance scheme which provides free treatment facility up to rupees 5 lakh annually to each family in government and also private hospitals rajasthan is working across sectors to ensure all round development i would like to add a point on sustainable growth we are as we all know the country's most drought prone state with large tracts of desert we have taken unprecedented steps in water conservation rajasthan has been recognized by the national water mission for its water conservation and efficient water practices there are many more such flagship as we join forces small actions grow into positive global movements that will help communities protect and preserve the world around us we live in a world of limitless limitless connections the connection that we want to strengthen includes our relationship and reach to our vast diaspora living across the world the organization i represent that is rajasthan foundation which was also created under the uh, vision of our chief minister recognizing the need to sustain and renew meaningful connections with the non resident rajasthanis The government of Rajasthan was a pioneer in recognizing the importance of the diaspora and had set up a designated organization 
Raisan Foundation for strengthening relationships with NRRs in India and abroad. We act as a one-stop solution for NRIs and NRRs and act as a bridge between the state and the NRRs, NRIs, PIOs and their associations in India and abroad. We work to enhance their cooperation in the progression of infrastructure, education, health, culture, tourism and other areas of mutual interest and ensure welfare. Whenever disaster or calamity strikes, the NRR brothers and sisters living far and wide have risen to help the state and for this they are respected all over the world. Our diaspora responded to the COVID crisis their own state was facing. Settled in Dubai, America, Canada, Germany, Egypt, they are numerous names of the countries. The NRRs made contributions. They contributed with oxygen plants, concentrators, tankers, ventilators, which was worth rupees 32 crores. And this was all voluntarily. Doctors of Rajasthan International, which is called Doctors Dori, which is an association of Rajasthani doctors living abroad. They have also developed a telemedicine platform and 112 specialist doctors across the world provide medical counseling in remote areas of the state through the platform called WonderX, which is free of cost. This was launched by our chief minister. Now you can imagine a person, a very poor person living in a remote area of Badmir or Dal or uh, our uh, district. He can directly call on video and audio to a person's uh, doctor in America, Canada, Australia and seek expert advice. We have been actively engaging with NRRs worldwide on a common platform and more than 20 NRR associations are connected with us and we continuously engage through webinars and conferences to strengthen our relation and connection with our roots. NRRs have been proactive in investing in the state. Rajasthani diaspora in India and abroad have responded strongly to our invitation to be part of Rajasthan's new wave of industrialization. Owing to links in the state, they are already aware of the progress achieved under the leadership of Minister Ashok and they have confirmed investments in the state. I am happy that Dubai visit with this high power delegation is going to yield uh, a very, very substantive and substantial result. And I really thank our diaspora and people like, uh, I am especially thankful to Zulfikar Ghadiali Saab and Badar Ali Saab who are here today and who responded to our invitation and are present here in this event. You and other NRRs are a major target for investing in the state and hold immense potential. Rajasthan is open to investment for non-resident Rajasthanis. We invite you to invest in your own homeland. You should be left over because today the entire world is coming to Rajasthan for because of the uh, such a beautiful atmosphere the government is providing. We have a team of excellent officers who dispose of things within no time. Rajasthan Foundation is bringing out an NRR policy also which is tries to leverage the policy framework to institutionalize these linkages and enabling their engagement with their own state. Let us all join hands, forge a un united worldwide effort to build a more sustainable and prosperous future for all. Thank you very much. Thank you. राजस्थान फाउंडेशन के आयुक्त धीरज श्रीवास्तव का आप सुन रहे थे और साथ ही इस एक्सपो को लेकर राजस्थान के जो एनआरआर से वो किस तरीके से निवेश कर सकते हैं राजस्थान में किस तरीके से निवेश को बढ़ाया जा सकता है और इस पवेलियन के थ्रू क्या कुछ अहम रहने वाला है इन तमाम अहम मुद्दों की जानकारी उन्होंने दी और साथ ही जो लोग उनके साथ जुटे हुए हैं उनका धन्यवाद भी उन्होंने दिया